a silicone cover for GoPro, a must-have accessory to minimize wear and tear to our action cam. Let's unbox this humble item and see why you should have one. GoPro action cameras are built tough and are designed to withstand all kinds of abuse. So why the need for a misty silicone case? Well, for some, the price to pay to get one of these GoPro action cam is a material amount to part with. I guess like me, we treat it like a well-thought investment and we take good care of it. Opening the box will reveal only two items, the silicone case itself and a lanyard. It's a nice touch they use this fancy wrapper to cover the final item. So here it is, the Telesin silicone cover for GoPro 9, 10, and 11. Let me just mount this quick to the GoPro. Here's that long lanyard. Its addition complements the value of this purchase. Talisin silicone cover. Let me walk you around this one. Here's the nine dot cutouts for the front microphone. On top is the small cutout for the status light indicator. It's a little bit off center here. Notice how the design of the silicone case is raised higher than the lens bezel. Take note. This particular GoPro has tempered glass installed on its lens. Seeing the silicone case offers some protection to the GoPro lens makes this top reason why you should get a Teles in silicone cover for your GoPro. In comparison to this unbranded silicone cover, the lens bezel protrudes over the silicone cover, which for me is a bad design idea. On top is another single dot cutout for the second microphone. Right here, we have a plain impression for the shutter button. Then over here, we have the ones for the power and mode button, which is engraved. The horizontal cutouts here is for the third microphone, located in the drain microphone. The way the silicon case hugs the edges and corners of the touchscreen area is a perfect fit. No complaints on that. It fits like a glove. I just really have to say that. <laughs> Down here is a nicely done cutout for the folding fingers. Overall, I like this silicone cover from Telesin. Its design is well thought of and have no complaints on the quality of the silicone material and no complaints on the fit as well. Comparing the Telesin with this blue unbranded silicone case, visually, it's hard to fault the unbranded one. In my eyes, the blue one actually looks to have a smoother finish and looks more appealing. These two did not come from the same mold but they look really identical. And it's hard to tell which one is which. Disregarding the color, of course. The Telesin brand logo does look good though. Checking on how the silicone material feels to the touch, and I can tell you this unbranded silicone case here feels smooth but never slippery. Comparing it here on the Telesin, and the feeling is just the same. I can't describe any difference. Really, no difference at all. But it is here in the lens bezel area that the Telesin silicone cover truly shines. Additional protection is available for the lens bezel with that raised silicon hugging it. So, Telesin is a better option, hands down. Now I just have to raise this. The Telesin's lens cover is perfect because it does not have that suction cup that comes into contact with the lens when installed. The silicon case from Ulanzi has that type of design in its lens cover. With the Telesin lens cover, you won't have to worry about suction marks on the lens possibly left by the lens cover. So one less thing to look out for, and I welcome that. There you have it folks. That's the Telesin silicon case cover for GoPro. Hit the like button if you find value in this video, and let me know what you think about the Telesin silicon case by commenting below. I'd really like to get your opinion on this item. If you're not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. It will surely help with the channel's continued growth and I'd really appreciate that. Thank you very much for watching and see you on my next video.